my miner has finally arrived. It's huge and massive. Really heavy. I could barely carry it up here to my apartment. So now I'm going to unpack it and set it up. So I'm still working on unpacking project. Uh, it seems to have been very well protected, which is good. So here it is, finally. Just look at the amount of packaging material that I had to dig through in order to unpack the miner. It's uh, a little bigger than I imagined, and it's very heavy. Uh, the seller included two power cables, which was very nice. I mean, they go in here, the two power supply units. Uh, with this model, you don't need an external power supply unit. It's all in there, so you just have to connect these cables to electric socket and then you're good to start mining. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to connect it to my uh, internet router and electricity and get it started. All right, so it's all connected now. Plugged to electricity and uh, my internet router here. So now we're going to power it up for the first time. Let's see. It's pretty loud as you can hear. And uh, look at the handle flames. So that shows the power of the coolers. The lights are blinking. I'm going now to go to the setup page and connect it to my mining pools and run diagnostics. All right, uh, so it's much quieter now. And the reason for, for it is that it's not running yet. It's not connected to any pools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input the values for the two pools where I'm a member. And then we'll see the stats, uh, like the temperature, the uh, amount of calculations per second. So here we have some first stats coming up. First of all, it looks like the bit Coin.com's own pool is dead at the moment. My miner is not connecting to it. But my uh, alternative pool, the second one, KC pool, is running. And I'm getting almost 4 terahash per second. Nearly 4000 gigahash per second. So here you see stats for the last hour, for the last day. Uh, it's slowly getting warmer, but not by much. 26 uh, degrees centigrade in front and uh, about 63 in the back where the hot air is leaving the miner. All right, so I had to change uh, the server for the Bitcoin.com mining pool from the US East Coast to the West Coast. And 
it seems to have done the trick. The mining pool is active. But currently my primary mining pool is KC pool. Or Kano's pool. And the performance is close to 4 terahash per second, 